Immigration agents arresting more than 2,000 illegal immigrants, many with criminal records, including murderers and rapists. The arrest part of a month-long sweep across 24 cities. William Lajeunesse is live on the West Coast on that for us. William. Well, in San Rome, many lived in sanctuary cities that protected these migrants from arrest, though 85 percent had charges or criminal convictions for assault, domestic violence, manslaughter, extortion, robbery, sex with a minor and more. In California, a third of those arrested were released from jail despite a detainer filed by ICE, meaning the police allowed them to walk free rather than be deported. The decision will not stop ICE from doing its mission, but it will make it more difficult and undoubtedly make it more dangerous for L.A. County residents while these people are being released uh, to potentially reoffend. Those arrested include this 30-year-old Mexican twice convicted of DUI, beating his wife and cruelty to a child. This 38-year-old Honduran convicted of assault and charged with sex with a child under 13. This man served 12 years for seven counts of sexually assaulting a child, while this Salvadoran migrant had priors for selling drugs, DUI, and domestic violence. And while many criticize the Trump administration for cruelty or breaking up families on minor charges, the Obama-Biden administration removed more migrants and a majority had no criminal record. This year, cities in greater L.A. used sanctuary policies to stop ICE from arresting 25,000 criminal aliens. You can't say that public safety is your number one priority. If it was, you would be working with federal law and enforcement to keep those people out of our communities. So operations like this, Sandra, are not new. The agency arrested about 90,000 migrants in U.S. cities, 86 percent with a criminal record. Back to you. William Lajeunesse, thank you.